you started Boston Dynamics in 1992. Right. Uh, what are some fond memories from the early days? Uh, one of the robots that we built wasn't wasn't actually a robot. It was a surgical simulator, but it had force feedback. So it had all the techniques of robotics. Mm -hmm. And you looked down into this uh, mirror, it actually was, and it looked like you were looking down onto the body you were working on. Mm -hmm. Your hands were underneath the mirror, so they were where you were looking. And you had tools in your hands that were connected up to these force feedback devices made by uh, another MIT spin out, Sensible Technologies. So they made the force feedback device. We attached the tools and we wrote all the software and did all the graphics. So we had 3D computer graphics. It was in the old days when, this was in the late 90s, when you had uh, a silicon graphics computer that was about this big. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was the heater in the office, basically. Nice. Nice. And, uh, and we were doing uh, surgical operations, anastomosis, which was uh, stitching tubes together, you know, tubes like blood vessels or other things in their body. And you could feel and you could see the tissues move. And it was really exciting. And the idea was to make a trainer to teach surgeons how to do stuff. We built a scoring system because we interviewed uh, surgeons that told us, you know, what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to tear the tissue. You're not supposed to touch it in any place except for where you're trying to engage. There were a bunch of rules. Mm -hmm. So we built this thing and took it to a trade show, uh, a surgical trade show. And the surgeons were practically lined up. Well, we, we kept the score and we posted their scores like on a video game. And those guys are so competitive that they really, uh, really love doing it. And they would come around and they see someone's score was higher there, so they would come back. But we figured out shortly after that we thought surgeons were going to pay us to get trained on these things. And the surgeons thought we should pay them in order to, uh, so they could teach us about the thing. And the, there was no money from the surgeons. Yeah. And we looked at it and thought, well, maybe we could sell it to hospitals that would teach, train their surgeons. And then we said, well, we're this, at the time we were probably a 12 person company or maybe 15 people, I don't remember. Uh, you know, there's no way we could go after a marketing activity. You know, the company was all bootstrapped in those years. We, we never had investors until Google bought us, which was after 20 years. So we didn't have any resources to, uh, to go after hospitals. So we at one sort of at one day, Rob and I were looking at that, and we said uh, we'd built another simulator for knee arthroscopy, mm -hmm. and we said this isn't going to work, and we killed it, and we moved on, and that was really a milestone in the company because we, you know, we sort of understood who we were and uh, and what would work and what wouldn't, even though technically it was really a fascinating thing. What was that meeting like? Were you just like sitting at a table? You know what? <laughs> Probably. We're, we're going to pivot completely. <laughs> we're going to let go of this thing we put so much hard work into and then it go back a, to the thing. It just came always from. felt right once yeah. we did it, you know? Just look at each other and say, let's, let's build robots. Yeah. 